What's up YouTube, Varnish here, and we need to talk about how to do missions for mission teams. Now as many of you know, you have three different options for missions when you're looking at them. And you can see these on the mission team screen as well, but what many of you may not know is that you can actually set the in-game mission. So as you're in the pre-lobby or in the lobby, you can scroll using your bumpers to select the the mission that you currently want active in the game that you're going to go into. So make sure it's something that you know you can complete. Now the cool thing about you know getting these missions is like right here I have earn one double kill. So you have different options as you go into these games. So as you earn these double kills see you're gonna see it pop up so you get the initial mission completion you're gonna get bronze tier you're gonna get silver tier and gold tier completions for these missions and this is the way you're going to get experience quickly and get leveled up for your mission teams so that you can get those new weapons that you want so each time that you're able to complete the mission you're going to be able to check that in game you could hit uh, start if you wanted to in game and be able to see what your current progress is at but you also get a small indicator as well up in the top right hand corner and then each time you complete the mission, it's going to pop up in the top right, as well as an indicator where all of your medals and your rank up information is showing up at the top of the screen. So always being aware of how, much, how many more kills or whatever objectives you're gathering for your mission team, being aware of how many more you have left to do and what you actually need to be doing and the best part is you can select what you want to do out of the available missions uh, in the beginning of the game and I think that's the best part you can then cater your playstyle to those missions as well even though you can already cater the mission teams to how you play and at the end of the match when it's all said and done if you've gotten your gold tier missions completed you're gonna get about 2000 experience when it's all said and done and that's awesome. You get ranked up very quickly when you do that. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Infinite Warfare videos. Let me know what types of Infinite Warfare videos you want to see down in the comments below. And what do you guys think so far? Until next time.